Hello everybody, this is Dr. Willow Ariella, and this um, mini lecture is over um, prenatal development and birth. I um, want to highlight some of the important concepts in this chapter as well as some additional material. Um, prenatal development and birth, the um, important periods or prenatal stages are discussed. And the prenatal environment um, discusses an important concept called teratogens. Um, these are um, things uh, most commonly um, thought of as drugs, but um, it can be anything, um, any sort of substance or chemical, <clears throat> and sometimes um, the mother's health that, or father's health that can um, cause t uh, problems in the um, developing fetus. So teratogens um, are an important concept that relate to prenatal um, health and um, the major ones are discussed in drugs, diseases, and environmental hazards. Now, I thought this chapter was really interesting because not only does it discuss the um, mother's health and the importance of that, which probably most of us are aware, aware of, but it also um, discusses the father's health um, and the importance of um, healthy dads and um, relating to the developing fetus. And uh, it reminds me of a study that I read about that was conducted on um, older dads, um, men in their uh, 60s and 70s, and whether or not their um, age, uh, obviously the age of their sperm, affected um, prenatal growth and development or um, the health of a child when the child was born. And it was discovered that um, indeed um, the older a man gets, um, the uh, more likely it is that their child will have um, some kind of birth defect or some other health issue. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, the chapter also discusses emotional um, issues that relate to um, the health of the um, prenate and developing fetus that are also important to consider. Um, so I th thought this chapter was interesting because um, the a father is discussed um, more than uh, is common in um, prenatal development and birth sections um, when looking at um, prenatal health and um, how um, the father the father's age and health also contributes and a lot of people actually don't think about that um, there's a discussion on um, whether or not it's better to breast or bottle feed and you can certainly read that information and um, discuss among yourselves um, the importance of um, either one of those. Certainly there are a lot of um, proponents of bottle feeding. Um, there's a very famous organization called La Leche League, L-E-L-E-C-H-E, -E, La Leche League, and they are um, strong advocates of bottle feeding. Um, and certainly there's a lot of um, positive research and data that supports um, bottle feeding. Um, and then um, there's been a lot of research focusing on resiliency over the last decade or so. Um, before that, there was a lot of focus on um, risk, what kinds of factors um, contribute to a um, child or developing person um, being at risk. But now there are more and more researchers who are looking at this concept of resiliency. What is it that makes a per person um, able to uh, overcome or um, not be negatively affected by um, what we would consider to be negative environments or um, um, you know, negative uh, events, uh, whereas somebody else may be um, very negatively affected by those same kinds of events. So resiliency is an, actually a very important um, concept in psychology and human development because by understanding, better understanding why it is that um, humans are able to um, overcome some sort of adversity or um, negative impact, um, how it is that maybe we can help other people who are having difficulty with that um, similar kind of um, negative impact. It's a really interesting um, uh, discussion. Um, so it's important as um, psychologists and human developmentalists to have a good foundation and understanding of um, 
the stages of prenatal development as well as the, as well as the birth process. Um, we're not going to cover um, genes in this um, class because there are just only so many chapters that we can read and do um, a good, um, be able to get a good amount of information from them and um, you'll learn more about um, genetics in uh, other courses that you take. So um, we'll focus um, instead on the prenatal development and birth phase. So I um, hope you uh, are able to get some helpful information um, on prenatal development and birth and that this um, video provided a little bit more insight into those areas. Okay, see you in the next video.